The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Hard to believe that notice board still has anything on it. Don't think the machines that worked here posted many things? Look at those notices on the board. Too bad the gnotes couldn't read them. If you wander around here, you might find Noko. She just loves those gnotes. Once the power ran out, it made sense to ride gnotes, and that tradition continued through the years. Nope, you still have to feed them, but food's easier to find than go juice. Watch your step here, and you might find tracks of another traveler. Found it, even under all the muck in the gnote pen. Hard to believe the gnotes didn't trample it. The kind of pollution a gnote produces might stink, but it usually washes away in the next rain. You should keep moving. Can't let those gnotes blaze the trails for you. That board is filled with all sorts of hopes and fears of those who didn't like the city or nature and got trapped in between. You're getting close to what they used to call suburbia now. Not quite a city and nothing like nature. When the cities became too polluted, some moved here. Eventually they ran out of places to escape. Well, it's right next to other suburbs, if you like those. And when you've polluted some places, getting farther away from them was the point. You'll find some traces of travels, even out here in the sticks. Well, what do you know? There's another track. Sometimes even seasoned travelers needed a chance to get away from the hustle of the city. It's a wonderful place to raise a family, if you think there's a future for them. The tracks you found here will lead you back into the thick of things, eventually. Not too shocking to find a notice board here. 
just sad to think of all those unanswered questions. Can you feel your fur standing on end? There's a spark plant not too far from here. This place used to make power for the Toxanol Corporation. Clogged the sky and water too. Nobody was so formal as to call it that, but yes, all the sparks you could want for all your spark-hungry gear. While you're looking out for sparks, see if you can find a track too. There's the track! How shocking. Those tracks turn up in all sorts of places of power. In what way? The power or the pollution? One thing's for sure, when it comes to places like this, they go hand in hand. As electrifying as finding that track has been, you've many other places to visit. What a notice board. With those who moved through here, they must have had a lot to say to each other. There's a chug stop around here, no doubt about it. Choo Choo stopped here back before the fuel ran out. With enough go juice, you can still make them run. I hear at least one of them chugging about from time to time. Don't just look at the rails and you might find traces of other things. You found that track! Comforting to see that old things like that remain. Keep looking for things like that and you might well find the best stops along with the best trails. They get you close to where you want to be but never quite all the way there, unless you really like chug stations. There's more trail to find still. As much as you've discovered, the world is yours to explore. Look at that notice board, probably for those looking for a ride away from this place. You're getting close to a sludge make finery. 
The Toxanol Corporation used these to turn sludge into go juice. The process fouled the skies for miles around. Maybe, but not nearly as much as they cared about all the green they made. Step careful around the sludge and you might spot some old tracks. is even here. Even in the most disgusting parts of the world, they still liked to wander. Back when the place was working, it was quite a marvel. Believe it or not, though, it smelled even worse back then. Maybe the tracks could lead you to some place that doesn't stink quite so bad next. The right key could open this. You need to regulate the nozzles so they adjoin. Just a few moves left, make them count. Now that's unblocked, there's nothing stopping the flow. That's more than stuck. Expect looks like the cables need to be replugged in steps to match each sequence in order to generate a buzz strong enough to make things happen. Nice. That rearrangement should be enough to let enough electric current pass through the board.
What a mess that notice board is. So many hopes lost, all long forgotten. I'll bet if you poke around here, you'll find Lobo working on her gull blimp. Passengers used to board and leave blimps here up until they couldn't see through the smog anymore. It's not the flying that kills you, it's when you land wrong. Keep your eyes open and you might find a new track around here. Maybe even learn a thing or two. We are lonesome animals that spend all our life trying to be less lonesome. That's what you're looking for. You can't leave tracks in the air, even when it's as smoggy as this. Ironically, it's getting cleaner already, but that'll only last for as long as the Tree of Life is standing. You learned more about the world, but not even the sky's the limit from here on. Surprised that board never got washed away with the surge of the surf. Listen up. You might be able to hear a surf hurdler when you get closer to it. The surf hurdle harnessed the power of flowing water. The plant had to stop because the goo got way too thick. Anything that moves can generate spark, if you can catch it. You should find a track here, if the goo hasn't washed it away. Pick up the pace race.
there's the track, and still goo-free. Not even raging surf could stop those explorations. Glad you feel that way. It's a big world, and it seems like there's always more to see. And once you see it all, you can go back and see how it's changed. One thing about finding all those tracks, you know you're making tracks too. Just a few moves left, make them count. You can smell the must down here. That notice board is cleaner than just about anything else around here. You're nudging up toward a played out sludge field. Just follow your nose. This place used to pump sludge from the ground for fuel. If you think the sludge was nasty, it was worse when the Toxanol Corporation burned it. Some of it, but mostly they sent it to plants where they turned it into go juice and then burned that. You can probably find a track around here if you look hard enough. There you go, one bona fide track. Even out here in the middle of all this mess, there were things to explore. Dry of sludge? Pretty much. Anything left behind was either too deep to pump out or too nasty to do anything with. The tracks roll on from here to lands far beyond.
This rope seems solid. Even the feel of the air changes as you go underground. You'd think a notice board like that must have had all sorts of travel schedules posted on it over the years. But that's all come to an end. Keep your eyes on the horizon. There should be an up in the station around here. This is where travellers used to get on ancient flap-flap machines and fly high above the dirty clouds. They called it an aerodrome from what you'd be able to tell from old pamphlets found here. They sure did. The filth from them fell to the earth, so they eventually had to land in it with the rest of us. Look sharp and you'll probably find traces of travels here too. That's it! No surprise that travellers wound their way through here. Air travel used to be the fastest way to get around. Maybe too fast. You miss a lot of the world when you're buzzing over it. Some of those machines could fly faster than sound. They made huge booms as they passed overhead. You might not be able to fly out of here, but you can still follow more of those traces all over the world. Someone locked it solid. You need to regulate the nozzles so they adjoin. Just a few moves left, make them count. Now that's unblocked, there's nothing stopping the flow. Need the right key? Take a moment to absorb the day. There's a notice board, probably once filled with posts begging for nose plugs. There's a gas capturetory not too far from here. Just keep your nose up. The Toxanol Corporation made gas into burn fuel here. It made everyone sick after a while. The poisoning happened slowly. By the time they realized it was happening, it was too late. Especially for them. Nasty as this place is, you might still find some tracks here.
Looks like you're on track. It's comforting to travel on an old path like this. For you, I mean. Toxanol sold it all off as fast as they could make it. Might be some hidden around, but not a lot. Seems like those tracks never run out of gas. Look at the notices on that board. No one paid much attention to them, it looks like. Wiz should be around here somewhere, probably taking care of his guppos. A surge surf factory was one of the cleaner ways to make power, until the surf turned into goo and clogged it all up, that is. The thicker the surf became with goo, the more the machinery clogged up and stopped working, like most things from the bygone. There are sure to be more tracks around here, maybe by the shore. Impressed you found that, despite all the goo. This place has held power for a long time. In many ways it still does. Anything that's been ruined can be fixed, but it took a long time to get this bad. It'll take a long time to clean it up too. Glad you found that track. There's a lot to learn about this world, both here and beyond. 